Hey friends, Josh Kerner here. Looking forward to talking to you today about faking sea log. So what I found works best for fake sea log is, you know, first you gotta make your picture profile, uh, your, your custom picture profile, and turn everything all the way down. Um, except for your color tint, you don't wanna mess with that. Just turn everything else all the way down. And it's really that simple. Um, but then the other really big secret is to expose properly. With Canon DSLRs, the highlight and the shadow roll-offs both are really harsh. And so if you want to keep all the detail you possibly can in both the highlights and the shadows, what you got to do is expose almost exactly perfectly, uh, if at all possible. You got to be really careful to get as much right in camera as humanly possible. Um, and that's mostly going to be between your actual exposure and your white balance. And obviously those make a lot of sense, right? But it's very easy to think, oh, I, I want to overexpose because that's what you got to do with S log, that's what you got to do with V log, that's what you got to do with whatever, but you really don't want to do that with this. And so by now you're probably wondering, well, well then what do you mean by fake C log? And what I mean by fake C log is the most gradable image possible. So if you bake a lot of color in with even the auto uh, picture profile, let alone something like a landscape, um, even the neutral picture profile will do that for you. Um, by, by taking everything out as, pos as much as possible, you're going to be able to have as much latitude as possible in post. And that's what I define as fake sea log. So you're watching me here do this color correct, um, and everything's going to be a very small change. And I did my best to expose properly for the situation, um, but I'm going to just kind of run through my normal workflow on this, but the thing that I have to do with C log is make sure that with my fake C log is make sure that all the adjustments are small and that I make sure that I am boosting more than I'm dropping uh, because like I said Canon is, is really finicky and so when you when you expose properly you're gonna have the ability to use that full range of, of color and of detail in both the highlights and the shadows and so I'm gonna pull all those up because I want more in all of them as opposed to less. So with that last clip, I graded that to my taste, and my taste tends towards, you know, re re representing my own skin tones as well as possible, because I find that, you know, the color capture in a lot of these cases is, is a little bit too yellow for my preference. Um, I know there's a lot of different ways that, that you can color all of those, but the big thing for me is that I want all that detail in the highlights and the shadows, and I want to be able to see it too. And so that's why I expose properly and then boost those in post. I also really like contrasty images, so that's why that got boosted as well. But on that tone curve, I kept that really, really small because it's very easy to go too far with that tone curve on, on footage that isn't actually real log. Um, now, I found that uh, it's really easy to make, you know, some filmic looking, uh, grades just by messing with the with the uh, color curves and so if something like that would be of any interest to you let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to make a video about it. I find that everybody has a different taste in how they want their grades colored um, and I think I'm going to start putting together a little uh, LUT pack for that or a preset pack or whatever because you know there's a lot of different tastes out there and, and having access to all those is really fun um, and a lot of people uh, can can make really cool footage but then have a lot of trouble it seems in in the grade so um, if I can be a resource for that I'd absolutely love to be for you so yeah I really appreciate that you spent your time today with me on this video please smash that like button and subscribe it means a lot to me um, I really appreciate your time and your attention with me today and I'm looking forward to seeing the next one